So, Justin, you're making a, a, a big change, right? You've had a professional career, and now you're stepping away. And, uh, you know, you, you've talked a little bit about why and your passion, but um, give us just a concrete example of, like, wh what's, what's been one of your favorite moments in the gym, and why would you want to spend more time in the gym? Right. Um, you know, going back to what I had talked about in my, my positive experiences, um, joining a CrossFit gym in the middle of my weight loss journey, there was, I think, um, and I think a, a powerful testament to the community in general is that so many people saw my level of commitment and knew where I had come from, that I had already lost 100 pounds, but I was still a big guy coming in the gym. Um, they really got behind my story, which so many people want to sit outward and look in and think that they're intimidated and that they're scared and that they need to lose weight before they get in the doors. But when it's actually quite the opposite of these communities, once people get in here and find out is that the members become the wind in your sails, right? And they, they get behind you and they push you. And um, I mean, I can think back to uh, still being, I mean, I was north of 280 at the time and I was a couple months in and I was, I mean, just basically learning how to run, like a basic human function. I was learning how to run. And, um, and it was a Saturday partner workout and me and my buddy, he was also a big guy. Um, we, we were the last two in the class to finish and it ended with a 400 meter run that of course finishes uphill. And, uh, <laughs> And everyone had been done for minutes, um, you know, uh, and they were watching and cheering us on to finish together. And we had to go out on that run and we went out the door and we thought it was just us two. And then all of a sudden you turn around and there are 25 people running behind you, pushing you down the hill, pushing you up the hill, finishing, clapping. Like it was so powerful. And um, just thinking about those moments, thinking about the time that I'd spent with the guys in my first gym to, to take the, the time and meet with me, um, you know, like, you know, they're, own, they're owning the gym, they're running the gym basically together. Their time is precious, but they're on the mornings, even when they're not coaching, they're, they're meeting me in there to help me with conditioning because I, I, was, I was just so passionate about it. I was like, I'm making progress. I want to keep getting better. Not because I want to be competitive, but it's just, it fueled me. It gave me more purpose. And um, so just spending time with those guys and thinking about how I can still remember that. That was seven, eight years ago and, uh, and how important that was to me. And I think that if I... Now, this is the best opportunity to work with a guy who I consider one of my best friends. I look up to him um, and can feel like I have a purpose, right? More than being a cog in a machine. Um, you know, it, it, was a, it was just kind of a logical choice of really following my, my gut and my instinct and my passion to say, let's go, let's do that for someone else and, and try and spread that throughout the community. So those That's are, awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. How about you, Kevin? Man, I mean, it's funny because, like we talked a little bit about earlier, I mean, for me, um, it, was, it was probably watching Justin do a workout, and maybe some people have done it, so it was a thousand step-ups for time, oh, wasn't yeah. it? Yep. And, yeah. and when you were doing that, and I remember I had given him one of my ball caps from Apex, my, my company, and, and he was wearing that thing, and it was pure sweat, and he just kept on going with the weight vest, right? And... and I mean, that's when I realized what kind of guy Justin was and that I wanted to be part partners with him, right? Like for me, um, like I talked about, it's about mentoring and uh, inspiring and, and those things. In this case, I looked at Justin uh, and, you know, I'm like, I'm 20 years older than him. He, this guy's got the, all these great skills and a lot of them I don't have, right? And I thought, what a cool partnership that we have. Like we come from two different fields completely, you know? And uh, so for me, I would say that day when I realized Justin's, just his drive and what an amazing guy he would be and starting this gym with Justin as our general manager here. I think it, it's going to be amazing. It gives me the opportunity to do what I want to do and mentor and help start another business, you know, and I'm so passionate about fitness and for, you know, especially for the, for the masters athletes out yeah. there. And it's just something that like yeah, you guys have said, you know, age doesn't mean anything. You know, as long as you keep moving and keep doing things, yep. you know, so um, I and I could go on and on about it. I've, I've had obviously at the games and stuff like that. I've had some pretty amazing, yeah. uh, pretty amazing moments. And I've had some great friends travel with me and met some amazing people um, at the gym and at the games. Yeah. Right? It doesn't matter any yeah. anything and anywhere that I've been involved in that CrossFit community. I've had the opportunity to meet amazing people, you know, so yeah. 
And I think, I think one of the big draws too, as I, as I look at him, and I can remember just a couple months ago, um, having a friend who's, who's my age, so we're 20 years apart, you know? Um, and it, it, you, people would think, oh, Kevin, like he can, he'll inspire a lot of people who are 40, 50, 60 to keep moving, but the people who are my age, who are 20 <laughs> yeah, years, are saying, no my God, I would love at 25 to look like this guy, and I would love to be as strong and as fit as this guy. And I had friends who were there, I was like, guess how old that guy is? And, and they were like, uh, I don't know, 45, and they were, I was like 53. And, uh, and they're like, I had to pick the job off the floor, and they're like, it's just unfathomable. And showing other people in this community and, and seeing that, it's like so aspirational for people to know that, hey, if I make some small changes now that could lead to big lifestyle changes down the road, like there is there is an end game that is tremendous. And, uh, and so I think his story is super compelling, and so I think that's where... It's, it's, a, it's a progression, right? There's, there's steps that we can help people take now based on their goals that will help them flourish down yeah. the road, and it's, yeah. it's going to be amazing. It's such a powerful loop, too, right, to have that support and be inspired by everybody around you. It just it keeps feeding back on itself. That's yeah, what really about cool. yourself? What are, when you th- I know you've yeah, got a lot so, deeper vault um, than we do, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, shoot, we've been at this. I've been coaching for 14, 15 years now, and uh, Invictus has been around for nearly 12 And it's funny because I've coached individuals that have won the CrossFit Games. I've coached teams that have won the CrossFit Games. And what I'll tell you, uh, I'll tell you that the the one story that I still think is my favorite moment in the gym is that I had a a woman that was part of our weight management clinic uh, in the early days. And she came in one day. I don't know why. This story always still gets, like, chokes me up, but... Uh, she was able to put her wedding ring back on for the first time in 14 years. And it had nothing to do with the wedding ring. It had nothing to do with her weight loss. It was that she took back control of her life, right? That she, for the first time in more than a decade, said, I can make this change and I will make this change. And she actually did it. And that is the basis of Invictus, right? The poem is I am the, if ends with, I am the master of my fate, I am the captain of my soul. So how do we give people the skills to actually control their fate and make the decisions and overcome the adversity that we're all going to have? I mean, COVID is is nothing but a great reminder that like, we're not in control of anything (laughs) except Mm -hmm. our own actions, Mm -hmm. right? And by controlling our own actions, we can make ourselves far more resilient for anything that pops up. Um, and so that moment, as, as silly as it might sound with a wedding ring, was like, hey, what we're doing makes a difference, not just in her weight loss, but in every aspect of her life. And that's what's worth doing. That's, that's why I love this industry. Yeah. Yep. Keeps that's you coming awesome. back. Well, yeah, I mean, this trio, I think, is so cool because obviously Justin and I have our relationship and and we come from two totally different backgrounds. And then yourself with all of the education in CrossFit. And uh, I just I just think it's a it's a magical partnership, honestly, for us to be able to do this. Yeah. So I'm yeah. super excited. Me about too. It. Me too.